It almost seems that it's the opposite of, of the way things should work, but the way God has designed exactly. uh, women is that yes. they, they need that security, and exactly. if you get off their case, exactly. then they'll respond. And probably a lot happens the reverse as well. Women stopping, uh, you know, nagging or, or, or getting on. That's it. You got it. Yeah. It works both ways, doesn't exactly. it? Exactly. Isn't that wonderful? Wouldn't it be yeah. great to go home to a wife <laughs> who isn't on your case and who's only working on herself? That's the key to marriage. But somehow in our culture and our way of living today, we picked up this thing as this, it's a good thing, okay thing to try to change your mate. Yeah. Now, Ted, the, um, you know, honoring and, and giving security and talking, talking, talking. Guys are saying, I, I'm just not wired that way. Is, is it really possible to do? Yeah, and we think that intimacy is bringing a dozen roses home. Oh. And when we bring it home and haven't done the one and two of honor and safety, and it's not received well, we sit back and go, next time we'll bring two dozen. <laughs> two dozen roses should make her happy. And what we don't, we call it in the book, uh, it, it's really chore play. And what we don't realize is when I'm on the floor playing with my children, my wife wants me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, domestic support. When mm -hmm. I walk around the house just carrying a bottle of 409, she's like, where are you going with that? You know, you don't even have to really be going anywhere, but for her to <laughs> see you holding it, 409, <laughs> or loading vacuuming. the dish no yeah. dishwasher, yeah. yeah, vacuuming is the, the, the sound of a husband vacuuming is everything to a woman. Yeah. These are all things that show, hey. But only in the context of safety, though. If they right. don't feel safe. Absolutely. See, a man thinks that romance is the candlelight dinner and, yeah. and, uh, and roses and stuff like that. No. Domestic Rom support. Yeah, romance and is safety. Right. And then when you do the cleaning of the house, a woman is emotionally connected to everything in her home. So when you clean some of that, you're really ministering to her, and she tends to respond. And cleaning off a kitchen counter with 409 is a lot cheaper than two dozen roses. <laughs> and goes a lot farther. Okay, so we've covered point one, and the big important one, point two, security. Exactly. And then we're almost out of time, but yeah. just a quick touch on yeah. the number three. Number yeah. three is intimacy. And intimacy, and number four, sexual intimacy, which is the progression through the whole book, is not something you go after. Once you've created honor and security, we believe that intimacy automatically happens. Mm -hmm. It's not something you have to create. It's not mm -hmm. something you have to find moments in the day that I'm going to find an intimate moment. Honor and security is, is, is the foundation to intimacy. Intimacy is just the overflow, the byproduct of a husband who's talking, uh, a wife who is being respectful and connecting to her husband. We share in the book, the first half is all on the relational foundation of sex. The last half is all on sexual intimacy, intimacy itself, from foreplay to the actual act of intercourse through creativity, which is a word Christians don't want to hear. But yes, does God desire you to have a healthy, strong, vibrant sexual uh, life with your, your spouse? Absolutely. And He desires that for you. In the Song of Solomon, chapter 5, right after uh, the Solomon's had uh, intercourse with the Shulamite woman, God, it's the only time He speaks in the book, but He says, drink your fill, O lovers. Meaning, I want you to enjoy this. I didn't give this to you just so you can have children. I gave this between a man and a woman, a husband and a wife, to be committed for life to each other. And that's where you're going to have the best sex of your life. And uh, when you get my age, medical <laughs> problems yeah. enter, and that experience is over. So what, I mean, there's all kinds of things people can do today. You know, in fact, we were saying that Viagra for a woman is the first two, uh, honor and safety. Uh, but see, in my situation, which a lot of men experience, I can't take anything because of the heart problems mm -hmm. and the kidney problems. And so, so what do I have? What's left? Honor, safety, mm. and best friends. Still there, yeah. So that's still there. Mm -hmm. And so that's plenty. The relationship is so much more important to me mm. than anything else. And mm -hmm. so then my relationship with Christ. And so that's it. That's life. So, Well, gentlemen, I appreciate you being very uh, open and transparent. And you certainly are in this book, <laughs> let me tell you. And uh, uh -huh. it's, uh, it's one that every couple needs to get into their hands. And I know we can go to a local Christian bookstore. You can, uh, you can go on to GarySmalley.com probably yes, exactly. uh, and find a lot right. of other resources also. Exactly. Uh -huh. uh, and if you uh, forget that, just Crossroads.ca. You always remember our website and we'll have links uh, to their websites. And gentlemen, thank you very much thank you for, for this. Thank and I uh, encourage you to get the book. 
And uh, we will be back with more 100 Huntley Street. Stay tuned.